Hey, hello everyone. This is Tom with Promedia Gear. Today we are going to talk about the accessories for the Nikon Z6 Mark II and Z7 Mark II. Starting with the L brackets and some other accessories like handles and flash brackets here. But first, I want to show you our gimbal head. Here we got the big GK Katana. The GK. And just for comparison, I'll show you this smaller one, the GK Junior. So physically it's not much smaller. Uh, we're actually rebranding it as GK Pro because Junior meant it's too small. Um, maybe it's too small for this lens, but for this is the Sigma um, 300 to 800. That's the beast of the lens. Uh, but it'll do fine with like a, even a 500 or 600 f4, especially if you want to capture motion. That would be the GKJR or the Junior or Katana Pro, as we call it now. All right, so here it is. And it's also made it with the TR34 series tripod. What you see here is the TR42 series um, tripod with the leveling head as well. All right, just check this out. Look how smooth it is. Beautiful. All right, so these are the gimbals and tripods. Let's move on to the flash brackets and L brackets and other accessories. All right, so let's look in detail uh, into all the accessories and brackets, especially L brackets for the Nikon Z6 Mark II, Z7 Mark II. So what you see here are two different grips. Then we have a body of the Z6 Mark II. Uh, okay, since the bodies of the Z6 and the Z7 are identical, we'll just do this one, okay? So if you have just the battery pack, that's the MBN10, okay? We have one L bracket here for this with the cutout. And for the bigger, uh, the battery grip with the buttons, uh, we decided to use our PLX4T vertical version, which moves it a bit forward, okay? Now, if you don't like this forward option, there's always an option of configuring it with the universal uh, plate, but it'll block the battery. We can talk about it later. So first, let's go ahead and I'll show you how the bracket works on, the, um, on just the body. So for that, we have this bracket here. So there's two parts, the bottom plate and the vertical part. The vertical part is actually the same as in the original Z6, Z7. So um, this here is a two-piece bracket. So that's a bottom plate. We could install that first or we could install it together. It doesn't matter. Okay, so it can slide in and out. And we secure it with two screws, okay? Uh, there's no need to touch these screws here. Don't touch them, they're preset at the factory. And with these screws, once you loosen them, it's possible to extend the bracket. Okay, but to mount it, um, we have anti-rotation feature. That's this pin here, it goes right here, and it works with this screw here. All right, so that's it. We just mounted the L bracket, and we can adjust the working distance that we prefer. Okay, so that's kind of nice. Uh, you have additional accessories here. Uh, for some cold shoes or some port protectors right here on the side. So if you want to install the cold shoe, it's the best to do it like this. Just make sure you align the holes. Now we have a cold shoe on top of our bracket with anti-rotation. Alright, so there's more uh, options here with this bracket. It also comes with the strap loop. So to mount the strap loop, obviously take this off the camera. Um, there's two ways to install it. So make sure you install it with the strap loop facing down like this. And then we have two of these tiny screws. All right, so we have strap loop installed. Now it's the point of strap loop. Uh, that would be if you want to use a hand strap like this one here from Peak Design. We also sell this. So you would attach the anchor. Let's put this back on the camera. So this is how we attach the hand strap. Let me just loop it through here. Can you see this? Now we have a hand strap installed. Okay, we can always adjust the positioning or the tightness of the hand strap. See how nice this is? Okay. Uh, so this is useful because uh, there's really no other way to attach a hand strap 
to the body because there's no strap loop here in the body. Okay, that's beautiful. All right. And then, oh, we gotta secure this L bracket because it's sliding. So we do it by tightening these screws here, okay? Not a lot of force is needed here. So now it's tight, you can also use it as a handle. Okay, beautiful. So we get this question a lot. Why would you want an L bracket? Well, look here, this camera is mounted in vertical position. That's the only way to mount it with the L bracket is to have it right over the center of gravity of the tripod. Now if I want to switch to horizontal or landscape, it's as easy as this. Now back and forth to portrait, this is how we switch. And this is especially useful to, in today's era with the smartphones, with the vertical video or photo format. Shooting portrait is more important than ever. Let's look here, let's compare to shooting in vertical position uh, without the L bracket. So what you have to do is this, loosen it, and basically you drop down to the side, to the notch of your ball head. But this is not optimal for weight distribution. And also your buttons here on the wrong side. So we could of course switch to the other side but that just takes a little bit more time and it's off center. Now, another advantage of using the L bracket is that your camera is at the same height. Okay, you gotta lock down the panning when you do this. So if it's the same height, you don't have to like readjust the height of the tripod. Everything's the same when you sh change from the portrait to landscape or vice versa. Those are the main reasons. Now, uh, moving on, I want to talk about our shoulder strap port. So this here is our shoulder strap port. Um, notice this one is bigger than this one here. So this is the SS2 version strap port for this. So that's how you'd connect your shoulder strap. Uh, make sure that it's properly engaged, hug on it, and then you gotta see the button is popping up. That's engaged, okay? Yeah. Now, and then we have um, the QD option. That's the bigger hole. So the QD goes in similarly. You just push it in. When the button is popped out, that means it pushes out these bearings. So that expands inside this little port and creates a connection that's impossible to remove unless you press this. Works really nice and really fast, okay? So uh, with these plates for the body and the grip, we sell them with either option, either the QD option, the bigger one, or the SS2. They're not intercompatible, okay? This one here, it just goes in and falls out. There's nothing securing, securing it. And this here is too big. You can't insert it, okay? Just so you know, very important when you order, order the right version, okay? All right, so let's take this off. Um, well, no, before we even do that, let us uh, let me show you how to add the port protection here, okay? So this here is the port protector, the two screws and the adapter. And we install it this way, so when you pull on the cable, this doesn't get loose, okay? So we could install one end first. And uh, let's see which connection we have here. Let me expand this a little bit more, give me more room. But if you shoot tethered, this is beautiful. So it's either for a USB or the HDMI connection. We're gonna talk about the HDMI connection here. All right, so this is the cable here with the mini HDMI. So we can just route it this way. Okay. And then we just pinch the cable between this adapter and another thumb screw. Just kind of makes you work it in with the right amount of tension. Now you don't want to crush the cable completely. You just want to make sure it's nice and tight, okay? So there it is, we just installed port protection. So that should give you a better, more secure connection to your camera. So that's the A10 port protector. This here is our boomerang flash bracket. All right, notice how well it works with this uh, with this camera. Mounts just like this, provides enough clearance for the battery. Uh, it's a foldable kickstand. And obviously we can flip the flash from horizontal to vertical. Okay, 
So this here is the BBX flash bracket. Wonderful accessory for your wedding photographers that are looking to quickly switch between portrait and landscape um, flash orientation. All right, we don't stop there. We also have wonderful handles, okay? And they quickly install to the side of our plates, just like this. You screw it in. You can have two of them. So if you're shooting video, this will give you a lot of stability and you have cold shoes on top if you require additional accessories. This is the HP2 handle. It can be used with photos and videos. And then we also have Porter 20s for additional accessories. Now, if you don't use the, um, the new Z-mount lenses and you still want to use the adapter, uh, now we offer a special plate for the adapter. That's the PBNZ67 plate. It has a lip here. That's basically our Generation 1 Nikon Z6, Z7 plate the PBNZ67, not the Mark 1 or 2. And when this mounts, it goes against, there's a flange that goes against this, so this will prevent it from twisting back and forth. Uh, this plate would give you better balance when it's mounted to this versus the camera if you have a heavy lens. All right, so now we're gonna go into the grip mode. And let's first start with the older MD N10 battery grip. Okay, so that's this here. We store the battery door uh, for the camera in one of these grips. Okay, that's why I don't have it on here. So to install that grip, I already have the L bracket here. Might be more challenging with the L bracket, but it actually goes right in. Okay, so we install the grip. Notice we have a cutout here for the strap loop, magnetic Allen wrench. The combination of the plates is PB and MBN 10 and PLN MBN 10 vertical part, okay? Goes right here, un unobstructed access to the ports, the battery, then you can still change the lens very easily. So that's this version here, it also extends. So if you wanna access these ports a little easier, so it extends, you can always close it down here. All right, and if you'd like, obviously it can be used with the strap port that's the ss2 version okay and this will not unscrew on you because it can spin forever and not unscrew okay all right so that's it for this l bracket um, all these other accessories like the strap hand strap and stuff work the same way you would just install that strap loop in there and then you can use the hand strap same way Okay, all right, so let's undo this. And we'll show you the MBN 11 grip. So this is the advanced uh, vertical battery pack that also includes camera control. We've decided to use the one that's offset because it also gives us that uh, cold shoe on top. And we do like the balance of it. It just feels nice in hand. Okay, so we can go ahead and extend it by loosening these two screws. And now we have a real nice extension. And then you can put something else on here. You can put an uh, extra flash, you can put a microphone, you could, um, you could put a video monitor like this, you know, small HD. So check that out, how quickly and nicely all this works. Okay. So in here, we also store a magnetic key on the inside. If you really don't like this option, if for some reason you would like to swap this with another outplate, that's possible as well. Uh, you can just unscrew these screws. And then we could uh, just put in a universal portion on there. But this will block the battery, but this will align with the camera. Notice it's a little bit smaller, but maybe that's what you'd like better. I'm just showing you that what's possible here, that these pieces are all interchangeable. Okay. Now uh, with this plate, obviously, all the accessories I've showed you previously, the handles work the same way. 
Now we can try the bigger boomerang because that's a little different here. Okay, so the bigger boomerang attaches this way, similarly to a handle. Just screws on with the stump screw. Um, notice here on the bottom you have access to the vertical buttons. Nothing's restricting you here. Okay, still have enough room for the hand, even if you have super large hands like me. All these buttons are really nicely accessible. This is the BBG V2 flash bracket. This is how you flip the flash. Uh, look at it this way. All right. Then we're shooting in portrait mode and your flash is above the camera. All right. So this is the BBG V2 flash bracket. And we have a nice kickstand. So you could rest your camera flat without it falling down. So one last thing I want to show you is our camera holster. I went ahead and installed the ball that secures with the belt holster. I just installed it to our plate. Okay. And that's it. It just goes right in here. All right. So um, it just slides into the holster just like this. And our holster has an automatic uh, spring here, so it's secure. You can disable it if you wish. So this would be all one-handed operation. Otherwise, it's a two-handed operation. But you carry this on your belt, and your camera is always with you. All right. So this here is our SH-1 holster. Beautiful. All right, so thanks for watching. You can find these products at promediagear.com or also uh, we have a list of resellers up on top. You can click those resellers. We do ship worldwide. And um, you can always email us at pmg at promediagear.com uh, if you have any questions or give us a call. Thank you so much for watching this. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.